How is it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Yes, finally I am back with some more content. I do apologize for those of you that have been regular um, subscribers and viewers of my channel. Uh, for the lack of content, I'll maybe talk about that a little bit later in this video and talk about some um, possibilities for future content. Get your guys thoughts if I can in the comments section below. Uh, but for now, just to explain this gameplay, this is a bit of uh, God of War. The uh, fight against Sigrun, the Valkyrie Queen. It's uh, the hardest boss fight in the game. And I really enjoyed fighting all the Valkyries in this. Uh, played, played it through on uh, the challenge difficulty setting uh, for my first playthrough. Uh, this was actually my second time beating... Sigrun since the first time didn't record unfortunately uh, But yeah, I found that found this a really old-school type uh, Fight in a lot of ways the uh, the whole game of God of War was pretty old-school with the um, You know the the zone hub setup stuff like that um, But it was a really really awesome game. I have actually played all of the God of Wars um, that have been released back from God of War 1. I've even played the PSP version of God of War, believe it or not, when that came out. So I'm a pretty big fan of the series. And uh, when I first started playing this, like the storyline was like pretty crazy considering the character of Kratos from the original games. It was almost like a joke version. <laughs> you know, hey guys, how crazy would it be if, if Kratos had a son? And, uh, you know, it was like living a home life somewhere, you know, in a cabin in the woods. Uh, it's almost like a parody of, uh, of Kratos, like in retirement or something like that. Um, particularly when you look at how ruthless and cold-blooded the guy is in, in the previous versions of the game. Like, I mean, he rescues a princess and, like, uses her to, uh, to prop up a cog so he can get through a door, which crushes her brutally to death stuff like that like the guy is is not a nice person but in this game it's almost completely different and by the end of the game and the storyline I almost bought it as a believable concept in that he's he's looking to change and he wants his son to be better than he was and uh, so it was yeah that kind of thing the storyline side of it was was quite a departure from the previous God of War, but I really loved playing this game. It was so enjoyable to me, and uh, it's one of those games. I'm not a huge fan of single-player campaign type games, but uh, with this game, um, I was actually like trying to like make it last as long as possible, um, just savoring the campaign. I like uh, pretty much beat all of the side quests prior to finishing the last couple of chapters because uh, I wanted to use all the gear um, and I've actually uh, I've actually got the platinum trophy for this game now uh, which is pretty cool I very rarely bother doing that so yeah I was like I was like oh I really don't want this campaign to end I'm enjoying it so much so um, they did a great job on this game um, in so many ways and I'm not usually a huge fan of the uh, you know, the NPC companion type setup, but they kind of did it pretty well in this game in that it's almost like a, you have that second uh, second or third skill that up your sleeve in, in using Atreus, so yeah, they did it really, really well. A little bit derivative of The Last of Us, but I think they pulled it off pretty good. But I mean, this game's been out a while now. You guys uh, who are interested in playing it have probably played it already and uh, experienced it for yourself, but I just thought I'd give you my thoughts on it anyway. Um, what I like about these particular fights is they're very, very old school fights in that there's a, a certain, certain, um, like there's certain telegraphed attacks from the Valkyries uh, that they have, like they have, you know, maybe half a dozen attacks or Sigrun here has a few more than that because she combines a lot of them from the other Valkyries. Um, and when you notice the telegraph, you gotta pretty much react instantly to, to uh, pull off the counter to their different attacks. And she actually does like, um, uh, basically combos where she'll mix up a certain attack 
with another attack at the end of it, or she'll extend the length of it and stuff like that just to make it a little bit more unpredictable. But it's very much reaction-based, memory-based uh, fight, which is very, very old school. Like, basically, once you remember the, uh, the move set, you know the exact counter for it, and you can beat it over time, which gives, a, gives you a lot of satisfaction. Um, and I really, really had fun um, working out how, how to beat these uh, different Valkyries. I tried to uh, face them on an equal footing. So you can see here, Sigrun's health bar is yellow. So I was actually at a level, um, at a level equal to her. Um, I think I accidentally left out a couple of enchantments actually, uh, which I'll show you my gear at the end of this fight. Um, and that's why I was able to fight her on a level playing field. But yeah. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much the fight here. You'll see I get super, super low on health, um, but I don't actually have to use a Resurrection Stone or anything like that. And you'll see just how low I get right at the end of this fight, but uh, manage, manage to pull off the takedown here. In terms of my channel, guys, I'm at a little bit of a loss as to what I'm going to do. There's... There's a, a combination of factors that are um, resulting in the lack of content that you're seeing. Um, one of those is YouTube itself um, is not really incentivizing the smaller channels. And yes, I know I've got 100,000 plus subscribers, but really I'm a small channel um, these days, especially in terms of the individual views on my, uh, my newer videos. Which is unfortunate, but it's just the way it goes. And um, YouTube really aren't supporting the smaller subscribers in any way. Um, it's not as hard as it used to be when I first started on YouTube. A lot of people complain that it's that it's got harder and harder, but actually it was super hard back when I started YouTube. Um, they made it a lot easier, where pretty much anyone could get um, partnership with YouTube. Um, Almost anyone could get monetized. Um, and then they rolled it back a bit due to the, um, the lack uh, the lack of, of proper policing of the kind of content that was going up and getting ads put on it, uh, which was inevitable when you think about it. But it's still disheartening for a lot of uh, smaller YouTubers who are grinding it out and trying to do the right thing, as I have been. <laughs> Um, that a lot of these troublemakers who are usually the big channels that are not going to be affected in any way by a lot of the um, demonetization issues because they have outside sponsors and, and deals and stuff like that are the ones that have uh, caused issues. But anyway, that's one part of the equation in that YouTube is not really making it easy for smaller channels. Uh, they're not really incentive incentivizing us in any way or encouraging us in any way in any meaningful way um, the other thing is uh, I'm not really seeing too much support for my channel um, which is obviously partly my own my own fault uh, perhaps in the types of videos that I've been uploading or were was uploading regularly a whole combination of things really um, but it still has an effect on my motivation, I guess. Um, and the other thing is, obviously, I base a lot of my channel around zombies, Call of Duty Zombies, which I, which I love, and which I probably my favorite game um, of all time across my years of being a gamer. Uh, but more so, the World at War style uh, of of zombies from Treyarch. Um, Pretty much since Black Ops, I would say Black Ops 2 Zombies onwards, after the moon uh, map, everything after that has really been... I've really not liked the direction that they took with the storyline. Um, a lot of the decisions that were primarily motivated by marketing, such as Gobblegum, which really... Which is really like disastrous for the game and, and the sp the change in the zombie spawn system and stuff like that. Which I won't really go into, but it's just one thing that makes it hard for solo players. So, I find it hard to enjoy the modern the modern zombies in Call of Duty. Now, let's just put it that way. And um, I'll still play it and have fun, but 
It's not like the kind of game that I'm like really wanting, uh, really wanting to play. You know, oh, I really want to get back to that game. I, I'm thinking of other games that I enjoy playing. You know, like Elder Scrolls Online, or uh, some of these, some of these games like uh, um, at the moment Escape from Tarkov, uh, stuff like that that I play all the time. Um, even Sea of Thieves has been pretty fun, although it's it's pretty. <laughs> It's a pretty lazy, sort of lazily created game, and uh, has it doesn't have a lot of content. Um, some of those newer games, I'm enjoying a lot more, and really wanting to play those a lot more than zombies. I know this custom zombies maps that come out all the time, but a little bit disappointed in the in the custom mapping scene and and the community, um, which I won't go into too much. But um, I think. <sighs> I think the relationship that some of them have with some of the bigger YouTubing channels has become a little bit too commercialized, a bit exploitative, um, rather than the old school making maps for fun for the community that it used to be back in the days of World at War. Zombies, so anyway guys, what I'm saying is I'm looking at maybe doing something like, uh, the other thing I should mention is I'm working from home now, so I'm having to use my internet during the day, all day for work. And then I'm, I'm gaming the rest of the time after work, which doesn't really leave a big gap of time for me to actually use use the internet to upload um, videos like I used to do. I used to go to work, and that all that time I was at work, I was uploading videos, and also overnight while I was sleeping because my speed is so slow. But now it's a little bit harder because I'm working from home to do that. I was thinking about getting a second internet line. Um, to enable me to go back to having one free for uploads, but um, I haven't got around to doing that. It's pretty difficult living in living in an apartment complex like I do to get permission from Strata to have a second phone line put in is real drama. Anyway, guys, what I'm thinking of doing moving forward is maybe doing something like to start with getting back to weekly videos where I do a random video of the week, like just to show you guys what I'm actually playing and enjoying that week. And it could be a different game each week, similar to my uh, Mystery Box Mondays series, which I actually enjoyed doing, but I was kind of a bit perfectionist on that and tried to like almost complete an entire game each week and like um, edit in the highlights from the game. So I did that with a lot of those, but maybe I won't go, maybe it won't be quite so ex um, perfectionist on doing that but I'm thinking of doing like a weekly uh, weekly video upload of the game that I'm playing um, at the moment that I'm really enjoying and um, putting that out each week so it, you know occasionally it might be zombies if a new track once track comes out with some new zombies if I enjoy that but it might it's more likely to be something that I'm playing all the time at the moment so let me uh, let me know what you guys think of that idea um, in the comments down below or if you know you subscribe just for zombies and that's all you want to see um, Then yeah, go ahead. Let me know about that as well, and I'll understand but for now That's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching Slippy Jim out